previously on Tokyo Dark. Things bend, they break like my pants. This is the last time I trust any old guy, especially one who doesn't even know where the hell he is. And he crapped himself. Just great. I just... Oh, I, that was weird. It made me stop. I see the paint still here. Oh, don't tell her again. <laughs> this is you. <laughs> Go away! No fears! <laughs> oh, really? Go away! <laughs> oh, okay then. I have to make sure. Didn't want to be in the wrong place in the wrong time. Oh, was a bird. Bye, birdie. I'll maybe miss you. I swear to God, there's a branch I missed. I have saw that achievement. I'm not happy about that. That I missed a branch, apparently. How was I supposed to know? Like, there was no inf indication. Oh. Uh, time to have an interesting conversation. Jay blossoms fall gently at my feet. As I approach the Kawana family shrine. In front of me was my Kawana. Still dressed in the outfit of a shrine maiden. She had seen me approach and stood there frozen and terrified. The same hapless look on her face as when she had a knife to her throat months before. This time, it was me she was terrified of. I mean, we did kill someone. Mm -hmm. She has every right to be scared. Yeah. We were the only two people at the shrine, yet I couldn't shake the feeling of being followed. A familiar presence watching from the shadows. Oh god. Oh no. No! 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 Go no. in! Where's the exit? No, I don't. I'm not gonna do anything! I'm not letting the mask do anything. This was probably a bad decision. Maybe I should have left. I'm gonna time fade out. No, I won't do it. Why now? Why her? I don't have to do what you say. I am not a puppet. I can choose. You? The detective from before? Why are you just standing there? Is it over? I'm fine. Sorry to scare you. I'm, I'm here to talk to you. See, I... I've never been good at apologizing. I'm sorry. For everything I put you through. I've been meaning to talk to you ever since that day. I should have come sooner. You're here to apologize? Now? I didn't hear from anyone in six months. The police only talked to me once, and then everyone here started avoiding me, acting like it never happened. I guess that makes me the last person you want to see now. After that day, I'm sure some of the police came by and told you that I was only fo only following procedure, but that's bull. Police in this country don't go around shooting people. I don't feel myself. I don't. I didn't feel like my. I didn't feel myself and lost control. Putting you at risk. Sounds vague to say I lost control at such a crucial time. I bet. But that's the truth. The truth is strange, isn't it? Cherry blossoms. I mean. It's silly, but every time someone comes here and says how beautiful they are, I get so mad. It's like they don't understand my feelings at all. But that's selfish, huh? It's not like I want everyone to suffer along with me. I imagine the only other one who understands that is you, detective. Your name's Ito, right? It's so quiet here. It's hard to imagine something like that that day in April really happened in a place so peaceful. But it did. I know that you and your partner were only doing what you could to save me, but I wish I could have helped. I felt so helpless. At least you told me the truth. Thank you. You know, I asked Grandma about the mask the red-headed girl was after and she denied knowing anything. But it was a lie. I found one of her old journals at the shrine and she wrote that the mask was important and had to be hidden away. Why would she lie to me? I'm sick of everyone always trying to protect me by covering everything up. Grandma hasn't been the same since that day either. She shuts herself up in that old house and mumbles to herself about darkness and purity. I'm so worried about her. My gut tells me that mask has something to do with it. It's rather strange though, because in the fact being she was just like, Take the mask! Take it! I don't need it! Go away! <laughs> like, she just like, literally just straight up just gave it to us. And now she's like, oh no! The, the, the dankness is coming! Everyone get away from the memes! <laughs> I'm sorry. Listen to me rambling away. I bet you don't care about any of that. The truth is, I think you're right about the mask having something to do with all this strangeness. I actually came here to ask you about it. You think so too? Then let me help you. I, I don't know anything, but maybe Takashi does. Oh, sorry. 
Takeshi is my brother. He used to live here in Kamakura with me and Grandma, but he left the first chance he got. Takeshi? Hmm. Is he absolutely anything to do with High School of the Dead? Because <laughs> that would be funny. We talk on the phone all the time, but he refuses to come back and visit. I get the feeling he knows something I don't. He won't even tell me about how my parents died. Why say my? Is he not actually your brother? Is he your step? Is he like adopted? Because that seems rather strange to just say my and not our parents. <laughs> Where does your brother live? Live now? He's an instructor at a kendo dojo in As 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 Asakusa in Tokyo. I hear he's a big shot in the kendo world. Hmm. Sound like he'd be. Sound like he'd be at a good pl good place to start. Do you think he'll speak to me? Hmm, you can try. He's never been very good at opening up to strangers, though. It's worth a shot. Thanks, thanks for the help, Mike. Thanks for helping me, Mike. Yay! I wonder if, just out of strange curiosity, sake, I know this sounds a little bit morbid, but if I actually did press kill, do you think I actually would have killed her? Probably. Because <laughs> it seems like that's probably something that would happen, which is the reason why I didn't bother trying to flip and do anything. Oh, you're still, you're still gonna be the oh, same. No, I ain't no crazy guy. Fuck off. There's no chicken tenders here. <laughs> I need to enter and get the hell out of here. He's not here. Oh god, he just came in so quick. He's like, <laughs> oh, you're back. I'm here to tell you about you. Oh god, damn it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you, I can actually go and visit there now. Okay, that's fine. Info. Asakusa. The home of set of Sensoji, one of the most famous temples in Tokyo. It's also a bustling entertainment district. It, rem it remains a pocket of traditional culture surrounded by surrounded by the city's high rise. Interesting enough to know. Let's go. Let's go and find Takashi, and maybe he's got a harem. Maybe he survived the zombie apocalypse. I don't know anything about it. Maybe that's what's going on. <laughs> My investigation up to that point led me to let me to believe that Fine Takashi Kawana would be dif would be difficult and convo and convoluted, but that couldn't be any further from the truth. It turns out his kendo dojo was was well regarded as a popular training spot for a few national tournaments and several of the city's police officers. The latter made me nervous. The information I was asking for was sensitive, and I don't know I didn't want a word of investigation finding its way back to HQ. A few misfired questions could end up with the officers knocking on my door, or worse. Yukimura himself calling me up. It had to be. I had to be cautious. Okay, that's fine. We have to be careful then. I'm fine with that. We've done everything not great. We're not exactly the most best person in the world. I mean, if I look at my stats, we're a little bit better. Our professionalism is better. I mean, we're, everything's better except for this <laughs> stuff. I mean, we're stable, but we're just a bit stressed out. But that's about normal. That's pretty much normal for anything like this. Inside is the interior of a traditional tea shop, but it doesn't look like anyone's been there recently. Interesting. I do like how people are just shadows along the along the um the path. That's actually a mm. nice touch. Ooh, octopus balls. <laughs> Hello there. Would you be interested in buying some fine as ta takoyaki takoyaki in Tokyo? This isn't the cheap stuff you buy at the food stands at a festival. They they will make you they will make you question everything you know about octopus in the ball form. Who can say no to the sales to that sales pick? Sure, I'll take some. Yay! Oishi. <laughs> <laughs> Oishi. Wow, you're right. This is the this is maybe the best te takoyaki I've ever had. Thank you, thank you, miss. Best takoyaki on all the islands. Can I buy more? Pressures went down. Sanity went. Wait, what do you wait? Why did my neurosis go up? Oh, I'm relaxed. Wait, I'm kind of confused. Yeah, the, higher, ha, the higher your neurosis is, that means you're stressed. But the lower it is, it means you're more calm and stuff. Oh, oh it's a backwards thing then. Oh, it's fecking with my head. I see <laughs> how it is. It dropped my profession. Did it draw my professionalism down by one? Oh, yeah, it did. It dropped it by one. So that's not, that's not too bad. Maybe I can have another one. <laughs> no. It, won't, it probably won't give me the same bonus. I'll just keep going. Where the fuck is <laughs> 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 oh my god! <laughs> just as soon as I saw that guy, I was thinking that guy looked like Pat from Two Best Friends. 
<laughs> Whoops. Tourist. Likely. I can hear them speak in English. Oh, my English isn't so great, but so I doubt there to be much help, but I wonder who they're talking about. Oh my god. I have to talk to them. Oh, his name's Gary, damn it. <laughs> Hello there. Is there something we can help you with? Um, I d d don't speak ing- Wait, Japanese. Your Japanese is perfect. As a college professor, it was. If it wasn't, if it wasn't, I probably wouldn't. It, it probably, I, I'd probably be on the job. I'm no college professor, but I work in Japanese software companies, so I'd be in a bit of trouble too. You can be this guy. Mm hmm. Don't look at me. I just live here. Well, not in Tokyo, in the suburbs. Oh, I mean, you guys might speak might speak Japanese better than I do. I, I mean, sorry, I, I just uh, um, I would never have thought. Would you prefer to speak in English instead? No, I mean, no, please, um, Japanese is fine. Sorry, I, I wasn't mean to be nosy. I guess I don't see people wearing y uh, yukatas this this late in the year. Is there a festival or something? Yeah, no, we can't, we can't ask a. I I Asakusa every every year, and the the and the yukata came part of a tradition after a while. Guess it make guess it makes us stand makes us stand out more than, than we already do, huh? Don't knock tradition, Tony. Admittedly, my legs are a little cold though. I mean, it is feckin' September. Make an excuse to leave. Ask them about Takashi's dojo. You guys come here every year. You must know the area pretty well by now. I'm looking for a Kendo dojo where Takashi Ko Koana works. It should be in this area. Koana. Why does that name sound so familiar? Sounds so familiar. Oh right, he's that kendo instructor at the dojo, right, right, right behind us. People say he's the kind of he's a kind of prodigy. I wouldn't be surprised if he became a master in in time. Supposedly, he's very particular about who he trains. I suppose he doesn't want to waste his time with people who aren't serious. Makes sense when you think about it. With how good he is, he must get a ton of wannabe kendo masters coming to him. Seems like he trains a lot. Seems like he trains a lot of the police too. In, in time, we've been standing here, and we've seen a few co come in and out. And not all that, and I think he's still in his 20s. For someone so young, he must be under a lot of pressure. No kidding. I've heard talk about I've heard, I've heard talk of the in Indo -depart Departmental Kendo Tournament. It's become a matter, of, a matter of pride for the different regional departments. I wish my work did martial, art, martial arts competitions between departments. Nothing would, nothing would work... Nothing would work out work out the unspoken tension between me and my boss quite like a good smack to the jawline. <laughs> now that would be cool that <laughs> That'd be the best. That actually that would be actually really great that office wrestling. <laughs> That'd be great. Police fighting each other, huh? That must be pretty that must be pretty cool. I mean, I guess police and police in Japan don't really have to use force all that much though. Yeah. Anyway, I didn't know so much about the dojo. Anyway, I mean, I live in Shin in Shin in Shinoga Shinogawa, and I don't know anything that's spe that specific about it. <laughs> um, you see, it says so right here in the dojo's flyer. He was out here about ten minutes before you came, about uh, having a mountain shit. Uh, kind of seemed a little prickly, so we didn't talk to him though. I admit he he would have been much cooler if we kn known that off the top of our head. But we're glad we'll be able to help you regardless. Ha, <laughs> makes me feel a little silly now trying to learn more about about him from a flyer. Considering he trained so many police, I'm surprised I've never heard of him until now. Hmm? Are you associated with the police somehow? Huh? Me? Who huh, who me? No, of course not. I'm um I'm an investigator, see? Like um a private detective. Listen, if anyone come comes comes by asking about a female detective, just um Sorry, I don't speak Japanese, right? Exactly, I appreciate it. Anyway, how should you get going? Sorry to bother you. Thanks for the information, guys. Our pleasure. Good luck at the dojo. Let us know if you learn any kendo tricks. <laughs> I wish I could. The men in the department, men in the department, always puff, puff out their chest when they talk when they talk about the kendo competitions, like it was a go it's going to impress me or something. Never paid too much, much attention. Still, it's strange that someone re related, however faintly, to the mask is yet another tie to my old life. Takashi Kawana seems like an interesting guy, but very serious and not keen on strangers. At least, I didn't have to use any English. That would have been a disaster. What are you talking about? That sounds amazing. I would have loved to hear you speak English. 
<laughs> that would have been the highlight of this so far. I mean, apart from me giggling at the fact being I thought that guy was Pat. <laughs> this looks like the dojo I was looking for. It has a very tra traditional aesthetic. God, words, words, what are they? Oh, God. Oh, he doesn't look like Takashi at all. Damn it. I'm a little bit disappointed. <laughs> Who are you? Uh... Do I? No, we, no so you're a friend of mine, because if you say you're a detective, then he's gonna just be like... Yeah. Profession went down! You're a f friend of my sister's? You expect me to believe that? God damn it, he, I knew he'd see through all I. A little old, don't you think? Gee, thanks. Really, you think I wouldn't recognize you? You're the officer who was at the shrine in April who almost got her killed. And now you're lying about it, pretending to be your friend to no, to no doubt get to get something from me. Don't look so shocked. Y your little deception was easy to read it, is all. After your idios idiocy in Kamakura, I heard my crying over the phone every night for a month. Don't bother anymore. Now get out of here before, I, before, before myself or one of your fellow officers has to throw you out. God damn it! Fuck, we screwed up! <coughs> Should have gone with the detective approach. Well, that didn't go well. Maybe Maya will know, will know how to soften her brother up. Well, maybe if we didn't lie. I'm sorry. No, no, it's, it's fine. It's logical. I get it. I understand that. Try to get on his good side, maybe a little bit. We can't even go back to Kamakura, can we? Yeah, we, yeah, can. we can. It's like I think it's other places we can't go back to because it seems to be like more of a set route. Oh, we have to go and see him again after we're done talking to him. Lady, are you gonna knock? Mm. Hello? No, no, I ain't over there. Okay, fair enough. I'll just go now. The bird's still there. Click Maybe the he's a decoration. <laughs> see, this is, see, this is what she does in her spare time. <laughs> tries, to, <laughs> tries doing the moonwalk, but fails. Seems like the most right thing to do. Go to the shrine. My, your brother didn't think I was your friend. He do. I think I managed to find your brother. He didn't exactly seem happy to see me. Yup, you found big brother all right. He's been protective of me ever since we were little. I know, I'm probably overstepping my boundaries, but... Would you be willing to come talk to him? I don't think he'll tell me anything on my own. You want me to help? Fuck no. <laughs> oh, I'm fine, I'll just go then. <laughs> Shit. I mean, Shit. You know, seeing you again really got me thinking. I decided even if everyone's trying to hide it, I can't sit here and ignore what's happening. So uh, I need to understand why my family has been acting so strangely, and um, even my uh, own brother is keeping me in the dark, and I'm fucking sick of it! <laughs> so sure, I'll come help you, Ido. If I went alone, he'd probably pat me on the head and send me on my way, but if you're there, I'm sure he'll tell me about my parents and ask him everything. Are you sure that's what you want? Sometimes not known as better, Mai. No. No more stupid oh my! I'd rather be hurt and know than happy and ignorant. But before we go, let's check on Grandma. These days, if she doesn't know where I am, it can really set her off. Okay. Alright. I'll make it a quick stop at the house. Thanks, Mai. Oh no, this sounds like it's gonna end up the exact same way as the other times. <laughs> I mean, I don't know Make the way, bitch! Actually, it would be funny if she's actually following me right, following me right back. Oh, what the hell? Where did this bird come from? It wasn't uh -huh. No, I'm not falling for that. I'm not drawing my Stanley down more. <laughs> I'm not falling for that crap. I've gone for enough of that shit. I said no visitors. Leave me alone. Grandma, it's me. Please open the door. Ma? Oh, Ma, it's you. Please come in. You just come in. Ma. <laughs> you let the witch in. You, you stupid bitch. <laughs> Ma. What the fuck? Wait, what's she doing here? It, it's okay, Grandma. She's here to help. Help? What the fuck? Don't make me fucking laugh, you little bitch. I'm fucking step. Do we... I don't remember. Did we take the mask from the from the room, or did we just leave it behind at the department? We no, must... she, we have we have it with us because yeah, yeah, it's a stupid fucking. That's question. how the mask was mask was affecting us before. Yeah, really stupid fucking question. You're a 
supposed to help me, remember? I, I found something and you were gonna set me free from the past. So, I come into your house. And you think, oh, this person's gonna set me free from my inner demons! Do you take the mask, never come back! Yeah, is it, man? Free you? Are you talking about the mask? Do not discuss that horrid thing here! No matter how far you go, I can still feel it, like needles in my skin dragging me to it. In my dreams, I can still see that place. Have you seen it too, detective? Are you talking about- are you talking about Ro Rose- Rosemary- Rosewater Park in Silent Hill? <laughs> yes. It's <laughs> dreadful. Help me. I'm just seeing that park. And who I <laughs> see? Who I see? And it's just like- like Maria pops up. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> the nightmares of her keep getting closer to me. Who is this strange transvestite? <laughs> A dark place where those we've lost reside. Hell? <laughs> is that coming close enough? <laughs> I'm talking about the Team Ten house. <laughs> oh, that's pretty, that's pretty accurate. <laughs> I'm so old and have wasted so much time, and yet the pain will go away. What do you mean you've wasted time? What have you been doing? Stay in your house all day? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, again, another stupid question. <laughs> My poor Miko. Oh. I miss her so much. If only I could have found her. She a cat? Hey, Miko, you mean mom? Oh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I thought she meant a cat. Oh, my poor cat. It ran away from home and I've been sad ever since. Grandma, get over it. It's been here. <laughs> <laughs> Find her, what are you talking about? She's gone. You don't understand! Every ghost still out there, but I can't! I know she's alive! <laughs> <laughs> It'd be really fucking funny if, like, she just put herself on a fucking megaphone. Every call! Every call is not you! <laughs> it's Bobby! Come out here! I know where you are! Grandma! Grandma's been a decade! Get over it! <laughs> You don't understand, I must find every call my cat! Oh wait, there she is! She's fucking dead! Like she finds, she finds her in like the backyard, in a grave. Oh wait, there she is! I found her, it's fine. She's dead. Takeshi, Takeshi told me she died after I was born. Yes, yeah, of course. You should be asking about such things, my. If it weren't for this woman, you'd be safe at the shrine. What do you mean? Doesn't make sense. She's qu she's been she wants to know the truth herself. Why is it that I'm the one that's getting the freaking? I mean, I did nearly kill her, but it doesn't mean I'm the one that's actually making her think. Hmm. What is my family hiding? Hmm. Why am I getting the feckin' third degree here? No, Grandma, you're wrong. I'm not safe while everyone lies to me. I'm going to see Takashi. If you don't tell me the truth, he will. And then I'll go to Takashi's castle. And then I'll take part <laughs> in that and take on that game show. Man, listen to yourself. You must stop. You must not you go to You must not go to Takashi's castle. <gasps> no, do it. Opening doors to the past will solve nothing. Ever since you were little, I've done what I could to protect you and your brother. Yes, by keeping the mask at the house. Yeah. <laughs> That's such a stupid thing to hit thing when you really think about I've tried to protect both of you from the mask, but the mask was in the house. Shit, I didn't think uh, this through! Ah, fuck! I was protect you from the mask by putting you right next to the mask! It's a perfect plan, and the mask won't see it! But please don't go down this path. Y you look so much like her, you know. Your mother. Well, I fucking hope so! <laughs> I don't want to look like my dad. Actually, you look like that whore from that butterfly bar. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> but she had big titties. Yeah, surprised you ain't got big titties yet. Where are they? <laughs> Still waiting. It's been, seven, it's, been near, it's been years. It's been near what? What are you gonna say, Grandma? And you, detective? 
Perhaps my granddaughter's too naive to see it, but you can't hide it from me. You, I... you, you whippet snap. Hide what from what? I'm gonna hide anything. I know what you've seen. What you think you're able to do? Uh, depends. You mean shoot a piece of bamboo and then shoot a lock? Then yes, I'm probably not the best cop. Oh, this insp yeah, it's investigation. You're pretty shit. <laughs> yeah, in hindsight, I looked at the achievements. There was a branch I could have picked. I didn't know about it. I apologize for shooting the bamboo. <laughs> but you keep my family out of it. We've suffered enough. I don't know anything. I don't know. You don't know anything about me. And besides, I'm not the one hiding things from my family. <laughs> Just tell me, do you know the story of Azanagi and Izanami? Uh, I do know that they are personas. <laughs> and I know their reference a lot. Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Grandma, this again? I'm sure Aito's not interested in hearing about some old personas. <laughs> <laughs> really, we should get going. <laughs> Stay right there! No, I've told you the story so many times, you don't seem to grasp its importance! <laughs> I don't think it would be of use to this woman to hear it. Now, let me tell you the story when I used to run the Amagi Inn! <laughs> 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 but, Grandma, your, na your name is Koana. Yes, it is. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh like, yes it is. <laughs> like, she's just, like, she's gone bad, she's gone loopy. <laughs> Oh, that's a nice illustration. He's a Nagi and he's a Nami were the first of the gods known to us as the Kami. In legend, it was the drops, some said dopes, some. <laughs> the dopes. <laughs> it was the drops of ocean water that fell from Izanagi's jeweled spear that created the islands of Japan. That actually is a really nice illustration, that. Hi, I'm back. Sorry. I'm back this time. Come in to run my story. <laughs> I'll interrupt your stories as I want! <laughs> when they descended to our lands, they brought their love and devotion with them to the realms of mortals. So they fucked and created babies. Yeah, you know, they did, they did the shabam and, you know. <laughs> I, mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Ethan if Nucky went, SHABAM! There's a baby! <laughs> 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 Izanagi and Izanami had many kitties, the deities of nature that inhabit the natural world all around us. They had lots of kitties. Lots of ki ki kitties? <laughs> no, 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 I just like to imagine that they've got like a lot of cats around them. Yeah, that, 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 that sounds better, yeah, actually. But, but for a long time, life was peaceful, you know? However, Izanami gave birth to... <laughs> Kagatsuchi. Kakatakatsuchi! <laughs> the Kami of Fire! She was horribly burnt and suffered mortal wounds! Wait, who? Wait, who? Kagasuchi or Izanami? Uh, I think we're talking about Izanami burning, you know? Yeah, yeah, Dixie, see, you see his picture? It's, it's, it looks so burned! It's, uh, I bet her pussy's on fire! Uh, ah! the, uh, <laughs> she lay dying and faced with her mortality! New Kami were born from her suffering! From that burning pussy. <laughs> like, seriously, could they not, like, think about maybe making him look a bit burned? Like, where is she burned? Like, that's, like, anyone who's playing this is gonna think, Did she get burned where her pussy is? Well, yes, uh, that's how it is. <sighs> Kami that hid away from the light. When Izanami passed, Izanagi was inconsolable, and in his rage, he struck down the child that killed his love. You fucking bitch! <laughs> Oh. Wait a minute. Is this a Nagi Richard? Is he, is he, is, is he baby puncher? Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, Nagi, he, the god of baby punching. Oh my god. He's not just baby puncher. He's the baby puncher because he's the one that started. It's all his fault for all this mask. <laughs> Unable to accept her death, he ventured deep underground to Yomi no Kuni, the land of the dead. Oh my Basically, Honey, hell. you better not be dead! <laughs> oh my god. Stop being dead! Get your ass out of the <laughs> land of death! Wait a minute. Maybe he's Sephiroth. <laughs> <laughs> 
half blind and distraught with grief, he wandered in the darkness until he finally heard the voices, the, vo the, the voice of his beloved. And uh, though unable to see her face, Izanagi begged Izanami to return with him. Izanami replied that she would try and ask the gods of Yomi no Kuni permission to return to the land of the living. Incapable of restraining his desire to see his love, Izanagi set his calm alight in order to look upon his lost love. Oh. What greeted him was the sight of her decaying, worm-eaten face. Holy shit, honey, you got ugly. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it is. <laughs> yeah, about this whole thing, like, loving us and being dedicated and such, it, it kind of doesn't work when you're not hot anymore. <laughs> I think that's what's known as being an asshole, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> In horror, Izanagi attempted to flee Yomi no Kuni. Izanami, enraged, sent dark spirits to pursue him and drag him back to her. No! No! You want to get away from me, you ugly bitch! <laughs> I mean, I can only imagine what his reaction would be. Oh. After narrowly escaping, Izanagi sealed the entrance of Yomi no Kuni with a great boulder. Really? <laughs> he didn't use like a he didn't use like a ritualistic spell or a seal or some kind of power. He's just like No man. <laughs> he, he just he just he just treated that place like, you know, Jesus Christ getting sealed away. You know what you know how it is. What a, what a weird thing to happen. Oh, I have powers now though. I could seal this place up if I could just put a rock here. So you see, it is our mortality that brings suffering into the world. Yet resisting it is a perversion of the natural order. What do you mean our mortality did this? It's not, it's not our fault that flipping your first the first child happened to be the god of feckin' fire and burnt <laughs> Izanami. I mean, oh, all... fucking no, it's in the fucking script. What do you want me to say? <laughs> Being mortal means we must accept that we cannot pr control life and death. Congratulations. Give me a fucking, give me a fucking Oscar. You will die if you kill them. <laughs> Detective, some things cannot be changed, and some doors should never be opened. You must fucking stop. <laughs> okay, I actually, I've just watched something, okay. You know how I toilet this endings for uh, uh, Daiso, the warehouse guy, and the girl from um, the, the bar? What if, yeah. there's, what if there's an ending to, like, be with um, the dead uh, K Kazuki. And it's like one of those weird horror endings where it's like, yay, we'll take ever forever in hell. <laughs> it's like I told you to fucking stop! <laughs> it's like the it's like it's like the Kaffin ending. Where Vincent no. becomes it's with Vincent becomes the devil. <laughs> it's like that! And she's like Catherine, but a succubus but now. And like Rena is just like, God damn it! Why did why couldn't I get that devil dick? <laughs> Grandma, you're talking about stories and myths. We're talking about real things. And you expect to tell me that a master beast pure get possessed is not magical and real? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that, 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 that completely defeats my argument. <laughs> <laughs> the story may be a myth, but there is truth within it. Can't you see that? The things you pursue, they're unnatural, unclean. So it's a natural to find out where my boyfriend is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. I I'll tell that to every couple out there. Don't pursue your boyfriend. Don't pursue your girlfriend. Don't do that. That's unclean. <laughs> right, yeah, so I uh, fucking heed my warning and uh, stop this foolishness. And I won't let you involve my family any further. First, those bastards take my Emiko, then you fucking show up and perhaps I'm being punished for my scenes. Okay, again, you gave me the mask. This is your fault. So I, I don't, I don't remember that. Sorry. Oh great! Oh great! She de she de she developed dementia at an opportune time. I don't know what you're talking about. Who are you? How did you Who get are in my you? house? Get out! Uh, my, come here! Come here, my sweet child. We must keep you away from her. No, Grandma, I told you already, I'm going to see Takashi. I'm an adult now. You can't tell me what to do anymore. I just want... I just want something. <laughs> like... She says, get back over here. No, Grandma. You can't do anything behind... You can't do anything about... I'm right behind you. And just pulls it out the screen. 
<laughs> That'd be the best. No! You can't, you can't go. We must protect our family from from outside as my uh, I'm shaking my cane. You just can't see it. Uh, you're That'd reopening be... our wounds. Leave us alone. Let us heal. That's what I want to see. I want to see her arm just rise up. She's just like waving around a cane. That's what I really <laughs> want to see. <laughs> After seeing Magira's feckin' arm move, I just want to see more stuff like that. I need that in my life. Heal? You think I want to heal? Can't you see how much these lies have hurt me already? You're the one wounding me, Grandma, not Ito. She just scarred me for life. Yeah, but, you know. You're delusional. You tell us stories about Kami and spirits. Takashi might hide things from me too, but at least he makes sense. I have to venture. Who are you again? Uh, I'm gonna fucking punch you in the uterus. <laughs> <laughs> this time he's going to tell me the truth about everything. About mom and dad too. So yeah, mom is taken by spirits. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's how I just imagined it. <laughs> no! Stop! I'll tell you how your parents... How they... Fornicated! Ah. I don't know about that! <laughs> Grandma, why were you watching that? <laughs> it's my duty as a mother. <laughs> <laughs> well then. You can't, can you? You've never told me how they died. The reasons always changed every time I asked. Your mom fell down the stairs. She fell into the river. She walked into no! a tree. <laughs> it's just no! like... <laughs> no, no, wait, 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 wait. Your mother fell down the stairs. Your dad got impaled by her. No! <laughs> Your mom was killed by a tree. No! <laughs> Your mother got roundhouse kicked by Chuck Norris. <laughs> <laughs> no, my, please, you must listen. They, they might be listening. They're still out there. They haven't forgiven me. Can't you see? Nay, what are you talking about? You're insane. I have to venture, okay? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I spoke to you that way. I'll be back to check on you soon. Don't go! Please, I'm lonely. Why once, why once we come back, she's actually dead. <laughs> Don't fucking drink it up! <laughs> Goodbye, Grandma. Okay. I really Please come back. I really, I really want Takashi to just go, Oh yeah, mom, mom and dad got taken by spirits. <laughs> I'm sorry, she's got much worse since she last saw her. No, it's fine. Why do you think she told us that story? About Izanagi? I don't know. It was kind of creepy, wasn't it? She was talking about like she really believed it. Come on, let's go see Ta 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 Takashi. Oh yeah, I forgot. We gotta go and also see Magiro again. He's at the, <laughs> he's at, he's at the station. He's gonna slide in. <clears throat> it, it. Oh, there he is. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where would you think you're going? I, Magiro, the reincarnated Kami of the God of Trains must stop you! Why and I leave him? What of it? Oh well, you can't! <laughs> I, I <laughs> come from the my grandmother, and she says having health issues, so she has to stay. I have dementia, I need no doctor! <laughs> what the hell? Like, literally, like, did she make, like, made a bad dash to the phone and just go. What's that? Mine's <laughs> What's that? My phone on well. Don't worry, I'll stop if I go on the train. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's like, he like has total control of the trains, so he goes. It's like, <laughs> like my falling down the well. Don't worry, I'll make sure she doesn't get on the train. <laughs> How is that helping? <laughs> it's stopping her from leaving the city, leaving the town. <laughs> She's already down a well! <laughs> That's the point though! It's so she can't get out any further! <laughs> I, uh, I didn't ask what they were. Wouldn't want to be caught fainting on my shift again, but it must be pretty bad if she called. 
Why, why do your eyes like that? <laughs> I thought you was about to go, I may have to use extreme force. Chains! <laughs> <laughs> like, like the, and the chains are transformers. Do not, do not test me. I will use my train foo. My is an adult. Her grandma can keep her, can keep her here. Let's go. No, you do not understand. You're not going anywhere. Oh my! Because the train hasn't arrived <laughs> yet. <laughs> oh well, that understandable. Have a great day. Oh my God! No! Oh no! Oh no! Oh. Oh. Violence! No. Just, just do it! Just do oh. it, man! No! Oh. I look forward to seeing how that ends. No, we'll figure something else out. I, I've, I've had enough of being in trouble. Maybe <laughs> to, I'm gonna talk to her. Oh. Go away! No visitors! Oh, really? <laughs> That's kind of surprising. I have your granddaughter. Oh, well, never mind then. Well, I'm just if you look at that thing in the ground. It's a dead bird! I'm not looking at the dead bird! Do it. Oh my- oh, oh my god. Do I'm it. Like, wait a minute. Do it, daddy. Oh, oh, wait he doesn't- wait. He doesn't like dead things. Oh, you're right! Good point! Uh, good thing I'm wearing gloves. This better work. That's a great idea! Hey! Yes. I'm not being a You're like, oh, I, I don't want my sanity to go down. Well, it might have... I don't want... Yeah, I know. It might have gone down if we looked at it. Oh, look, he's back to the door. Hey, hey, hey McGill, can you check this bird for me? Oh, my God! I, I told you I didn't tell me to look to the... The blood the blood and the... <laughs> <laughs> the blood's not really my thing, it's so the, the germs and the... Uh, okay! Uh, I'm dizzy, I'm a little dizzy, just going to... <laughs> K-O-O-O -O -O. Oh dear, did he just faint? No, he's dead, what do you think? Oh. He'll be fine, let's just gonna move on. No, you can't! I run the trains! <laughs> Ah, fuck. <laughs> the god of trains is defeated by a dead crow. <laughs>